have an idea. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea. We'll see how it goes. Hey guys, welcome to my art studio. My name's Erica and today I'm going to walk you through an abstract painting so you can follow along with my thought process a little bit and see what goes on inside my brain while I'm painting. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm going to be painting in this style, but different composition, different colors. We'll see what happens. So first things first, we need to do the background, which is a lot of white paint. I do add a little bit of color or just gray sometimes for some texture. So I'm just going back and forth between a white and a muted green gray color. There's really no rhyme or reason to these brush strokes. I'm just leaving the brush strokes visible so I'm not completely smoothing everything out. I'm really liking this gray green color so I'm letting it show more than I usually would for a background. Okay, here's the background. I wanted to come in and show you guys all the texture and the variation from the white to that gray green color. I think it turned out super cool. Next, I'm going to start with my composition with the circles. I'm just going to sketch them out with a paintbrush and then we'll go back over them with the palette knife. I never have much of a plan for these compositions. I just kind of start and see what happens. So I want these to look random, even though they're not completely random. I'm planning and thinking about where I'm putting them, but I know I don't want anything in the center or I don't want it to be too symmetrical because then it looks too planned. I like having some overlapping and then some on their own. It makes it look a little bit more randomized. I like where it's going so far. It reminds me a little bit of like lens flares coming through a camera lens. Like the light source is up here and the lens flares going this way. So I'm wondering if I should add an even bigger circle. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think this is a good stopping point for the circles. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back over the circles with a palette knife, really add bold graphic textured circles. So sometimes I want a thicker line so I'll put the palette knife pretty flat against the canvas and then if I want a thinner line I'll just kind of trace it this way. Yay! I think it's looking great so far. So now it's time to add some color. I don't really know what I want to do yet. Part of me wants to lean into this lens flare idea and add some like oranges and pinks. I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea. We'll see how it goes. I am gonna use a bunch of different colors. I think it would look cool if I started with light warm colors up here and then fade to darker cooler colors. What I wanna do next is spray water on the canvas and let some of the paint run down. I think that'll be really fun. It is important to remember paper towels for this part. It is running down a little bit, but it's not removing the paint completely. I 
think this turned out really fun. I love the different colors. I love that the cooler tones were the ones that ran with the water because that's what I painted last. More of the jewel tones, the green, blue, and purple. I might go back and do some final touch-ups once this dries, but this is where I'm gonna leave it for now. I really like how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your feedback. And if you were inspired to paint something similar, please let me know. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.